So if you'd like to know some more obstacles to your self-love, let's look at the behaviours. Why are we doing this? When you are aware of the pattern, you're able to change it. So this is not about judging yourself or being right or wrong or not enough. But once you can see and connect the dots, then you're able to be free. So another obstacle to self-love is fear of vulnerability. If you've been hurt in the past or you've been betrayed or you've lost trust in others, in yourself, then you can feel very afraid of being vulnerable. And so you probably make an oath at some point to never expose yourself again. The thing is, when you love yourself, that fear disappears. So that's, it's kind of a paradox. So you have to love yourself enough to be vulnerable because that's when you can receive the most, probably of many of the things that you feel you're lacking. Another one is people pleasing. So I know for a long time in my life, because I wanted to fit in and I want people to like me, um, I was a serious people pleaser. I was also educated as that as a child because I had to learn to read the signs and play small and fit in to make my parents and teachers and adults happy in my life. So people teasing can often seem about survival as well. The thing is when you're people pleasing, you're generally looking for approval outside of yourself. And this actually prevents yourself from loving yourself as you are. The next one is perfectionism. So perfectionism is a form of control. It's a way in which we can attempt to control our environment, the things we do. Now I'm not saying don't do your best. That's always recommended for your own enjoyment too. I mean, you want to be satisfied in what you do, don't you? So that's enjoyment. But if you're someone who's constantly looking for perfection outside of yourself and within yourself um, with a critical and judgmental view, you will be disappointed. And this will keep you further away from loving yourself. If you can accept that you're perfectly imperfect and imperfectly perfect, then that's where love can start to grow in a way that you feel it. Okay, there's much more to self-love, but let's just stand there. So I'm Trilby Johnson from Breakthrough Savvy, and I hope you've enjoyed these insights into obstacles in love. Be on, follow my link, my bio link, to check out my upcoming Embodying Self-Love 12-week mentoring class and if you're interested hop on the waiting list or sign up wishing you a wonderful day and love yourself